So we were focusing on link state advertisement, but I said before we get into those um, deep dive into link state advertisement, we need to do virtual link. So today our focus is on virtual link. Usually virtual links are used in two different scenarios. One is shown here in the picture. If you notice here, Auto uh, one autonomous system needs one area as a backbone. In an autonomous system, there is need for one backbone. But for some reason, the backbone is not in one location. Maybe in the same building, this is in the first floor. This is in the second floor or third floor, something like that. Area zero. Now, in order to merge these two, we need to we need to put a bandage. We need to put a tunnel. We need to put a circuit, a virtual link between this router. See, in the area one, you may have one hundred routers. That doesn't matter. Those things will not come into picture if you put a virtual link. This router will form neighbor directly with this router via this virtual link. Right? Virtual links are used to connect discontinuous area. See, this is area zero here. This is area zero. They are discontinuous. Virtual links are used to connect discontinuous area to area zero. A logical connection is built between router A and router B. This is router A and this is router B. A logical connection is built between router A and B. Virtual links are recommended for backup or temporary connection. See. You cannot depend on this virtual link between A and B for lifetime. You have to find a solution where you can connect this cable directly, physical cable. That's the permanent solution. This is a temporary. Or let's say you have a permanent solution. In case if this breaks, you want this to be active. In such scenarios, you, go, you may have virtual link. So, this is one scenario. The other scenario I would like to draw in our whiteboard. Let's say we got area zero. And we got area one. And we got area 50 here, area 50, area 1, area 0. Now we got also area 2 here. Usually all the areas are connected to backbone area only. Area 0. But area 50 is a new building, let's say. New building in your office. You you built a next neighbor building. <coughs> new building. And you got some routers where you want the OSPF route to be distributed. Now this area because it is not directly connected to area 0, area 50 routes will not go to any area and the other area routes won't come to area 50. It won't come. Neither it will go nor it will come. How do you solve the problem? See, you may be having one router here. That router take one interface and make a member to this area one. Area one router. Then it becomes what? 
<coughs> a member of both area 50 and area 1 but it is not a area border router it is not a border router border router means connection to area 0 only will make it as a border this router has got a membership with area 1 why I need to do this because I cannot have a physical wire like this there is one router connected to area 1 always already I want to connect a cable to this maybe there is no port available there is no port available here for me to connect this wire or I don't have that lengthy cable Maybe it needs some time for the deployment. So, because area 1 is already connected to area 0 and area 1 is close to me, close to area 50, we form neighbor with area 1, which is already connected via various routers to area 0. Now I need to know the router ID of this device. Let's say the router ID of this device is 5.5.5.5. The router ID of this device is 10.10.10.10. If I know the router ID is very important. I'm mentioning router ID. Not the IP address of this physical interface. No, not the IP address of physical interface. When we know the router ID of the area border router and this router, we can form a virtual connection. We call this virtual link. How you do that? We'll go to this router and say, what this is area? This is area 1. We'll go to this router and say area 1 is a virtual link ending where ending on 5.5.5.5 .5 see area 1 only you should say don't say area 50 virtual link no 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 area 1 only you are going to make it as a tunnel not 50 Likewise, we go to this router and say area 1 is a virtual link. Where it is ending? 10.10.10.10. That's it. So, we form virtual link like this. by putting this command after you do this you will see this router forming neighbor with this router via virtual link and this will form neighbor directly with this router via virtual link now area 50 can form neighbor with area 0 so it can give directly to area 0 and area 0 will give to area 1 the updates routes of area 50 will come to area 1 from area 0 via tunnel update will go and then come back and then go to area 2 so virtual link connects a non backbone router to a backbone router over another non backbone router over another non backbone router is this concept clear? We are going to do and see this. Is this concept clear for you? Yes, sir. All right. An area can communicate to another area only through area 0. Because router 2 is not connected to area 0, we cannot call it as an area border router. 
But when I put a virtual link, router 2 gets a connection directly to R5, which is an ABR. That way, area 2 will become a ABR. After configuring virtual link, you can call router 2 as an ABR. But now it is not an ABR. Okay. Sir, in this topology, in this topology, Normally, ABR, there must be two routers, no? ABR, ABR to be connected between the areas. No, no, no. No need like that? No. No, it's not like that. In one router, you may have interfaces, member of two different areas. So, there is no need for two separate routers. So, the... ABR can be in in area thousand. R five is in ABR. Why? Because it is a member of area thousand and area zero. See, where is that interface? You have zero one on the router five. F zero one is connected to the area uh, router six. No. What area it belong to? It is, uh, yes, it is area zero, but it is not a B, uh, ABR, no? Router 5 is an ABR. Okay. Uh, Just one ABR is enough. One ABR is enough. Why you need more ABR? <laughs> Only no, one ABR is enough. In area 1000, we, we need one ABR and in <laughs> no, no, no. There is no need for that. No, that is not the way it works. Okay. So, for area 1000, router 5 is an ABR because it is connecting to area 0. Only one route. That means area ABR must be between the two areas, isn't it? Correct. Uh, sir, uh, ASBR, ASBR. ASBR is a router where we do we will do redistribution. That will come later. ASBR is a router where we do redistribution uh, from area, some other product. Area zero correct. Area zero area thousand where a AS, where a area could be, where a AS connect each other. That is the voice. Every area need to be connected to a backbone area, but area 500 for some reason not able to connect to backbone. So what we are going to do? We are going to form a virtual tunnel between virtual link between router two and five. So let me quickly configure the basic configurations with OSPF on all these routers. Let me use a notepad to do this, to reduce the time. Enable config T, this is for router 1. IP address 1.1.1.1, 255.255.255. One one IP OSPF 1 area, 500. I can configure like this, right? On the interface. Next. IP address on router F00, I give 10.12.0.1. Then IP address on router 2, I give 10.12.0.1. 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 IP on router 2, I give 10.12.0.1. Next, router 6, let us finish router 6, 6.6.6.6, 6. 
belong to area 0 and we got 10.56.6 area 0 finish this is on router 6 next let's do router 5 router 5 Fedor, 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 Fedor. Area, I, I'm putting loop back of router 5 in area, you can put it in area 0 or area 1000, I'm putting it in area 0. And F00, okay, let me finish F01 first, F01, <coughs> 10.56.0.5. And then, belong to area 0 F00 zero zero is 10.45 10 that belong to area 1000 that's it now I'll paste this on router 5 next router 4 router 4 configuration <coughs> router 4 belong to 1000 F01 will have 454 1000 F00 of router 4 We'll have ten dot thirty four dot four one thousand and I'll put this on router four. <coughs> This is for router 3. Router 3, if you see, it's in 1000. F00, F01 will have 34.3. F00 is going to have 23.4. dot three they all belong to thousand router three next router two router two F zero zero F01 of router 2 will have 23.2 that belong to 1000. Please focus here. F00 is going to have 12.2 that belong to what? 500. Right. Now I'm going to paste this on router 2. Please focus now. Please focus. Very important. Please show IP OSPF interface brief. You can see that the loopback address of router five, sorry, router two, is an autonomous. Sorry, it's an area one thousand. Now, if you want to, if you want to learn this route, if you want to learn this route on R one. It is possible only if area 0 comes in the middle. Why? Router 1 is in 500. But this Lubeck is in 1000 area. So router 1, if you check, you have neighbor, but you will not have roots. 
Why will not have roots? Area 1000 cannot give directly to 500. So you don't have a root. Likewise, this network 1.1.1.1 1 .1 1 .1, we are advertising through OSPF, but this 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1 .1 1 cannot be seen in router 3. Do you see 1.1.1.1? 1 .1 .1 .1 .1? No. You will not see in router 5 also. You don't see 1.1.1. One dot, one dot, one dot. You don't see in router 6 also. See, area 500 networks are not seen at all here. 10.12 is the network between router 1 and 2. That is also missing. There is no 10.12. There is no 1.1.1.1. One dot, one dot, one dot, one. Likewise, area 1, sorry, area 500, which is router 1, don't have any routes from other area because they cannot they cannot be learned without area 0. Now, in order to get those routes from other area into area 500, and vice versa. We need to form a virtual tunnel between R2 and R5. We need to form a virtual tunnel between R2 and R5. Yeah. So this tunnel, how we can make? Let me show you. See, for your for your understanding, I have put that uh, rectangle. Don't think so there is something. So, I go to router two, and I say router OSPF one. Area one thousand will act as a virtual link. Till where it will go? 5.5.5.5. This is the router idea of R2. Uh, sorry, R5. How do I know? Go and check. Show IP OSPF. You will see router ID. Usually it takes the loopback interface. That's why that is how I know. I configured loopback on every route. So router 5's router ID is what I should give as a virtual link. Likewise, I need to go to router 5 and give router OSPF 1 uh, area 1000 need to be a virtual link till where? Till 2.2.2.2. Two 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 now you are going to see a new neighbor coming up. See? See, see, see. OSPF virtual link 0. A new neighbor loading to full. Who is the neighbor? Router 2 can see router 5 and router 5 can see router 2. Even though they are not directly connected. Even though they are not directly connected. When I type show IP OSPF neighbor on router 5. I can see 2 as a neighbor. How is this possible? Virtual tunnel. So now if you go to router 1. Earlier we were not having any routes. But now we got all the routes. And earlier in router 6, we were not seeing route to reach 11111, 10.12.0.0/16. But now you see 1.1.1.1, 10.12.0.0. And so you can now ping from here to 1.1.1.1 1 1 1 1 1 with the source 6266. You have reachability to and fro. Did you understand virtual link? Yes, sir. Now, if you check on router 2, you will have another neighbor. Show IP OSPF neighbor. You see, router 2 has got direct connection to router 5. Show IP OSPF interface brief. You see, 
look at this. Router 2 says, I got connection to area 0. That is how Router 500 got the backbone connection. Now, now Router 2 is a backbone area border router because it is connecting to a backbone via the tunnel, virtual link. Do this.